right, it is time for a book list of sorts, of sorts. Hey everyone, it is Shannon and I'm here today to do an all the books on my currently reading list. I like to do these every couple of months just to share the titles, all of the titles that I'm currently reading. Um, this is, And this is for what's currently on my currently reading shelf on Goodreads. I do tend to carry a lot of books on there. It usually is in the realm of like 16 to 21. Uh, right now it's actually 31 which is a lot. It's a lot. Um, so I'm gonna have to do some of these pretty quickly. Um, but I like to do these videos to share some of the titles that may not have cropped up in any of the videos, stuff that was never on a TBR, or I guess it's mostly stuff that was never on a TBR, or I haven't finished yet, so it just hasn't hasn't made it into any of the videos. Um, and I do like to also share my estimate of when I think I will be finishing each of the books. Um, the last time I did a video like this was back in June. So it's been three months. Is that right? June, July, August, September, three months. And um, at that point I was reading 20 books. And since then I have read nine of those 20 titles, but 11 are carrying over to this video. So when I hit that point, and I know when that point is, um, I'm going to switch up and just share whether I have made any progress since June um, and give a revised estimated time. Um, before we go forward, I do want to also share that I don't hold a lot of stress over having a lot of books on my currently reading list. Um, as long as a book is something that I can come back to without having to go to the beginning, I'm happy to leave it on the currently reading. And I do tend to read a lot of books at the same time, usually three to seven um, in any given week or sort of like my focus reads. And um, as long as they're different genres, I don't have any trouble uh, reading books, um, multiple books at the same time. I actually prefer to read a little from this, a little from that. But right now, 31 is, is a bit high. Near the end of the year, sometimes I can get it to around 10. But I will, even I will admit 31 is, is kind of pushing it. <laughs> but that's okay. It's all good. So I'm going to start from my most recent start to the longest ago start. So most recently, just yesterday, and today is September 19th, I think. Yes, September 19th. So that's today. And so just yesterday, I started Vampire Night Volume 17. I anticipate finishing this today. I am working towards finishing the series during the Fall into Manga Love Readathon. Um, and I have 130 pages to go. These are very quick reads for me, especially um, because I at 17 into a series, you sort of like have the rhythm of, of the writing and the art style. And that's how I'm feeling here. So um Volume number 17 started yesterday. Anticipate finishing today. Next up, Cat Got Your Crown by Julie Chase. This is the fourth book in the Kitty Couture, Kitty Couture Cozy Mystery Series. Um, I am reading this with um, Nicole from Who Picked This Book and Jen Jen are, have a book club and they do live shows on Wednesdays. And this is the September series that they are working through. So the live show is Wednesday. So I anticipate finishing before Wednesday, probably on Tuesday, but potentially Wednesday. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing how everything wraps up. It is the last published book in the series, but that doesn't necessarily, there can't be more kitty couture, and I'm really enjoying it. Uh, next up, Age of Reptiles Omnibus. This is by, is it listed here, Ricardo Del, Delgado? Delgado? Del Delgado, Delgado, it's right at the top. Oh, it's a white note. Um, I am doing an A to Z uh, graphic novel challenge, manga challenge, and romance challenge. So all of those genres or formats, I'm trying to read something from each letter of the alphabet, and I needed an A. So Age of Reptiles it is. This is actually a wordless uh, graphic novel omnibus. Um, and it's all about dinosaurs, dinosaurs, and it's very, the movement and the reaction, like I feel like I can hear the dinosaurs from their like reactions and all this stuff. So it's a lot of chase sequences and, um, you know, or being on the run or, or, you know, finding, you know, um, it's a lot of eating. <laughs> it's a lot of eating <laughs> reptiles eating each other <laughs> so it's some um, but it's it's actually quite interesting and uh I'm enjoying it it's one of the it's a total random pick um which is one of the reasons why I like to do the A to Z challenges I'm surprised I didn't have an A usually that's where I start here we are at September so Age of Reptiles it is uh next up the history of reading this I have in physical format um this is by Alberto 
Man Manguel. I'm not sure how you say this. This is a fascinating nonfiction book. I got it from my brother for Christmas a couple years ago, and it is really, really interesting. I just did the set, the chapter I just finished was all about like how we what's it called R reading shadows, um, but it was all about like how we interpret and visualize reading and the history of what the different ideas of that are like you know if it's something we sensory perception of like going through the optic nerve and what we're how we think about it now versus then and I've very very been very engaged by the idea of what we see when we read um in particular fiction, because there's something I read the, the Stranger recently by Albert Camus, and I realized I had such a strong visual of what his apartment looked like. And it came up when I was reading this, like there was some there was some other apartment. I'm like, Oh, I bet it looks a lot like the, that character that I'm like, I don't even remember if they described it. So I've just been very engaged with the idea of what we see when we read. I might actually do a video about that. Let me know if that sounds interesting. I actually do not know. Like when I'm reading this, I, I am very enlightened. Um, and I think it is different person to person. Um, so anyway, it's a very engaging read. I'm only a couple chapters in. I have a lot to go. It's from my September TBR. So I won't finish it this month. My estimate for reading that, to be honest, probably will be the end of November. Um, it's very engaged reading and um, I don't want to rush it. I really am enjoying thinking about it. Um, and next up we have This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. This is the first in the Monsters of Verity duology and I will be finished reading this by Tuesday, September 29th because that is when the live show is that Izzy is doing. Um, I'm buddy reading it with her, Izzy Punk Arc OPA. I'll leave a link to her channel down below. Um, I'm really enjoying it. This is YA Urban Fantasy post-apocalyptic. I'm not sure. It's kind of a mesh between the two early days on this one, but I definitely will finish it by then because, uh, you know, it's the live show, so I got to finish it by then. Um, next up, this one I haven't shared before, and this is one of the reasons why I wanted to do this. I have a bit of a experiment going on, so I'm reading um, Dark Sky by Carla Neggers, and um, this is a suspense novel, lightly romantic suspense, um, but I am doing a bit of a project... Um, so I actually, about books that are big, and I enjoyed reading paperbacks a lot in August, so I decided to make this into two volumes, and I even did end papers and stuff, and so this is, it's called Dark Sky, so this is the cover for volume two, and I am actually very much enjoying. This is only a 400 page book, so I just split it into two volumes. It's a Mira, so it's a Harlequin, and there was a like a send away card right in the middle, so it had a very distinctive pick. And I just got it from a library book sale, and um, it's, it's a bit out of my comfort zone. But then I made it, like I actually made the volumes, and I'm like, oh, I have to read it to see how it feels in my hand. So I've been reading it, and I'm almost done. I have about 100 pages left. I'm here in the second volume. And, um, I am enjoying it. So I do anticipate finishing this by the, uh, like the end of the weekend. So September 21st, I guess. And um, yeah, so let me know if you'd want a video about like making one book into more than one book. I know it's a bit scandalous to some people, but for me, it is much more easy on the hands to hold smaller volumes. So I think that might be a way I go for larger books. So that's a bit of an experiment. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, next up, we have Diary of a Nobody by George and Whedon Grossmith. And this is another one that I haven't talked about. This is part of my Those Books project. It's a very small volume uh, book. It's only 137 pages. Um, and I unwrapped it. I didn't do a video. I just unwrapped it. I just wanted something short because um, I want to get back to doing book reviews. And um, I do book reviews generally for projects that I work on. And uh, Those Books is a project or it's an exploration. Um, and so I thought, okay, I'm just going to pick something short. And this is what it was. It is illustrated. It's illustrated. And it really is just, it was done, um, I'll talk about it more when I end up reviewing it, but it's just really like sort of everyday life, you know, encounters, um, people coming over for dinner, someone wore this hat, you know, someone visited here, I got a stain on my pants, and I got it out, and I was mad at this person, and I had a great conversation with this person. Like, it's all just that kind of stuff, social dynamics, everyday life. It's actually, given the times, it's actually been 
quite delightful. Um, I also am reading, oh, my anticipated, uh, my ETA for finishing this is by the end of the week for sure, probably even could be today. So let's say September 25th. Let's say that. Next up, Cinderman by Anne Stewart, the book that has all the different covers. I This is not my most favorite, but it is the one that I found. This is a Harlequin from the 90s. It has a paranormal spin to it, and it follows a scientist, millionaire-ish person, and a reporter, uh, and she's trying to get the skinny on what he's working on, and then there is a um, uh, explosion sort of at the lab and then it sort of becomes this paranormal superhero origin story type thing. It's quite delightful. There are some outdated things in this one um, in terms of uh, like I was just there's things I was a little surprised at. There's some I want to know if it, I would go as far as say body shaming but like there is definitely difference like we don't talk, we talk differently about appearance now and some stuff like that. So anyway, I'm enjoying this. Um, I read another book by Anne Stewart of this line, which is called More Than Men, and they all have this these paranormal spins to them. Um, and uh, they're by different authors. It's a older series. Anyway, but this one, I, I've gotten way laid on this one because of the Cozy Mystery series, because they're kind of similar in a weird way. Um, so I finished, I anticipate finishing this by the end of the month, so September 30th, but I really thought it would be done by now. It's actually I'm a, now a bit backlogged on my romance reading this month because of just I haven't finished this one and so I haven't started the next one so I anticipate finishing it by the end of September. Um, next up Essential Art History by Paul Duro and Michael Green. Um, this is a lexicon so it's A to Z of art history um, just and I'm just reading it from A I'm at appropriation. So I'm, I'm actually really curious to see what they say about that. And um, yeah, I, this, I, I think if I'm lucky, I'll finish this by the end of the year. No rush on this one. I like nonfiction art books. And I think absorbing it, you know, in a good pace means not necessarily trying to race through it. And it's a lexicon. So there's like, I'm only on an A. I only started recently. Uh, next up, what, now we're into August starts, um, Slay by Brittany Morris. Um, this one, actually, I'm surprised I haven't come back to. It's a YA uh, novel about gaming, and um, I started it. I read a couple of times. I think it was on my August TBR, and I started it late in the month, and I didn't finish it by the end of the month, so then I started starting my September starts, so not great there. I do want to finish this. I do want to get back to this, but I have a feeling I probably won't finish it until the end of October because right now I'm really in you know deep on my September TBR and focus there so maybe I need to bring this back to the forefront once uh, October starts and I'm, I am enjoying it. Uh, next up this is not the correct thing but I couldn't find one. I'm reading a book called um, I think it's called Saxons Norse Normans and Vikings and it's one of these ops pre guides which is like this it's a men at arms guides this is called something else um and it's but it's close it's close it's as close as i can get it is a um um, I started reading it during the History Challenge. It's very dense. It's a PDF, um, and it's lots of small text, and it's the text is a bit fuzzy because it's a PDF, and it's, like, full screen, and, like, you know, but it's cool. Like, I am enjoying reading about Vikings, Normans, and, and Saxons. Um, I anticipate, I would say, it will probably take me until the end of the year, maybe, to finish it, even though it's only 50 pages. It's a very slow read, and that's fine. It's history. Like, it's better to, again, absorb it. Um, um, next up, I have So You Want to Talk About Race by Ijoma Aleu. Um, this is a nonfiction book about race. It is really, really good. I'm about halfway through now, um, and I anticipate... I want to finish it by the end of September. That might be a bit optimistic. No, it's possible. End of September. End of September for that one. Uh, next up, we have The Warlord of Mars by Edgar Rice Burroughs. If I'm correct, this is the... I think this is the third in the Barsoom series, which is part of my Stacking the Series challenge, which I am doing horribly at. Um, and I wanted to finish this 11 book series this year, and I've 
read one book plus like three chapters of this one. So obviously I don't think I'm going to finish that series this year. Um, if you're unfamiliar with this, this is sort of like a sci-fi fantasy, um, you know, it's set during, oh God, 18, like Western-ish, or is it Civil War? I'm not sure. Um, and, like and it follows an American who ends up on Mars and then adventure, there's like, you know, swashbuckling and there's you know, I don't, I have not met this lizardy creature yet, or maybe I have, I'm not sure. This one was hard to find a cover because most of the covers have <laughs> a different character with quite about the same amount of clothing. And I didn't, I just didn't want to use that one. For some reason, it's okay when it's John Carter. And, and the other ones are fine too. And actually the cover that I found on um, scribed is fabulous, but it's pretty racy. So I thought I would go with this one because <laughs> the lizard, the lizard. <laughs> so anyway, I don't know when I'm going to finish that. Maybe let's say the end of October. Um, and hopefully <laughs> that'll happen. Next up, nonfiction. I actually have a lot of nonfiction on this list. If I'm honest, I think it might be half nonfiction. So there's a lot of nonfiction. This one is really good. The Body is Not an Apology. The Power of Radical Self-Love by Sonia Renee Taylor. This is fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. I highly, I'm only, I'm, I'd say probably about 30% through this book and I already would recommend it. It is so good and it, it just, it really talks about how we feel about our bodies, how we're made to feel about our bodies by external sources, and, you know, why, how so much of that is so completely messed up. And I am really enjoying this, and I have I have been reading it. I also have it on audiobook. Scribed has both. Um, and I hope to finish it, let's say, by the end of October. Um, and um, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, next up, let's talk about Love by Claire Kahn. This is a contemporary romance featuring an asexual protagonist. I started it during Grinchathon and I didn't finish it by the end of Grinchathon and then it was a new month and then I started reading from my TBR. Are we seeing a pattern? I think we are seeing a pattern. Uh, next up, uh, Lioness Rampant by uh, Tamora Pierce. This is the fourth book of the Song of the Lioness series. And I just, I can't believe, like it's the last book in a series. I just, on on my reading plan for the past like several re weeks, I've said finish this book because I get to finish the whole series. I am enjoying it. It is YA fantasy with a really strong female protagonist um, and it's on my stacking the series and I don't know why it's taking me this long to finish it. It's just kind of ridiculous at this point. Every time I read it, I read a fair chunk of it. The chapters are rather long. It only has eight or nine chapters for the whole thing, but they have breaks. So I shouldn't just, I should, I could just read to a break. I don't know what's going on. I am enjoying it. Um, um, I kind of feel like I see where things are going, so I feel like I need to read it so I don't just like pretend I already know because it could surprise me. And I am enjoying it, so what's going on? I think it's just taking me longer than expected. Um, okay, also on my stacking the series, do we see another pattern? Um, Blood Magic by Nora Roberts. This is the third book in the Cousins O'Dwyer series. This is a paranormal romance series set in Ireland that has a sort of family history magic connection twist to it and it's so good um and this is the last book in the series and I really need to finish it uh, but what how I started it I read that there was like a sort of like a prologue catch-up chapter um and then I realized there was an urban fantasy series that I wanted to read instead of this one or like I was in the middle of it and I wanted to finish that one first so I did finish that one and then I didn't come back to this one so I should come back to this one Next up, Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. I started this for the um, All the Worlds a Stage readathon, All the Worlds a Page readathon, the Shakespeare readathon, um, and I really enjoyed it, but it has some connection to current day events. And I wasn't expecting that. And so that threw me off. And it's one of those books, there this has happened several times. This is one that I wish I had started at any other year than this year. So I had a, and I didn't know that there was that theme or setting or whatever. I don't want to say what it is because it's a bit, I don't know if it's, people have different interpretations of spoilers, but I didn't know. And so I started reading it. I kept with it for a bit. And then I'm just like, and then I was just upset that I hadn't read it before like 2020. So I haven't come back to it. So bad me. Oh, uh, this one I'm reading super slowly. So a Dungeons and Dragons player handbook. This is 3.5 
core rule book 3.5. Um, I've started gaming again and um, it's been a long, long time. So I'm, and I'm really interested in game mechanics, like how things work and how spells work and how whatever, like in math and I like all that stuff. And so, um, and just understanding the classes and stuff like that. And um, yeah, so I have been reading this very slowly. I, I can't quite decide if I want to read it like first page to last page, or if I want to jump around to the parts that are more particular to my character. That being said, I don't want to overstep the knowledge of my character because my character is just starting out. So they only know so much. So it's a bit of a dance. So I don't have any estimation for this one. Um, honestly, I'd probably say by the end of next year. I forgot to do estimations. Station 11, at the end of this year, maybe. Maybe. Did I do it? What did I do? Oh, I didn't do it for a bunch of these. Blood Magic, the end of October. And Song of the Lioness, the end of this month. I really want to finish this. I really want to finish. I'm going to say the end of September. Let's talk about love. Oh my gosh, I didn't do this. The end of October. Body is not an apology mid-October, because I can't, it's too much for the end of September, but I am really reading it. Wow, I'm so bad at this. Warlord of Mars, end of October. And so you want to talk about race this month. So sorry about that. I totally, um, I totally got distracted. So what were we talking about? D&D &D Player's Handbook, so the end of next year. And I'm okay with it. Next up, okay, when the last physical edition I have is they'll, There'll Be Peace When You Are Done. Actors and fans celebrate the legacy of Supernatural, edited by Anne S. Zuberis. Um, so this is all about Supernatural. This is like the TV show Supernatural, which is returning August 9th or 8th, the Thursday, for its 15th and final season. They have wrapped filming. There's only seven more episodes. I thought I would finish this before this season came back, but now I'm kind of wondering, would it be better to wait till the season's over so that I have, like, some more Supernatural? I don't know. I think I'm still going to aim for finishing it for the return of Supernatural, which is uh, October 8th or 9th. So that is my current goal. I will revise that. But there's still, I, there's lots of chapters because it's all stories um, or essays. So there's a lot of them. So at this point, I definitely have to read sort of like two to three a day. But that's, that's going to be my aim. So now we're at the point where we are at the books that I had at my last video, which I will leave up above if you want to check out the June version of this. So these ones I'm going to go through quickly. I'm just going to say whether or not I made any progress and my revised ETA. So next up we have Men We Reaped by Jasmine Ward. This one I haven't made any progress on, so I'm considering putting it on hiatus, um, but I'm not sure, my hiatus shelf, but I'm not sure. Um, if I don't do that, I would estimate finishing it by the end of the year. Starship Troopers by Robert Heinlein. I've made zero progress on this one. Um, this one I had a very sort of show a strong for a military force, and I started reading it like at the end of May, horrible timing. I am considering still reading it because I wonder if there is some critical commentary on that. Um, and now I might have a little bit more distance and it might be something that's helpful to think about. So I'm not sure. I would say, to be honest, I would estimate finishing this by like the end of next, the end of February 2021. I don't think I have any super rush on finishing this, but I think I will finish it. Ah, The History of the World in Bite-Sized Chunks by Emma Marriott. I read a little bit of this during the History Challenge, and I just picked this up randomly. Um, I'm going to optimistically say by the end of this year, but probably not. I have made some progress, though. Into the Wild by John Krakauer. I actually have made a little progress on this. I would like to finish this. I'm not really enjoying it. It's not a hard read. I just want to sit down and finish it at some point. I'm going to say the end of November because I've said the end of October for a lot of books. So I'm going to say the end of November for this one. Uh, the Girl Who Played With Fire by Stig Larsson. This is the third in the Millennium Trilogy, which has now been extended. Um... This is my second time this book has come up on hiatus. Like, it, like I read it in like 2011 and I got... I think they're around the same part. I'm not sure if I'm going to read this. Um, I don't want to DNF it. Let's say the end of the year. Let's say the end of the year. And um, but I've not made any progress. The woman I wanted to. The woman I wanted to be by Diane von Furstenberg. This I have made progress on. Actually, a fair amount of progress on. It is a 
memoir, uh, Diane von Fersberg is a fashion designer. It, it, I'm listening to it on audio. I already also have it on ebook. The audio is lovely. She narrates it. It's very slow um, because she really takes her time in telling you the story. And I really enjoy spending time with her. I remember I watched the show, The House of DVF, which was a reality competition show for her to um, get an intern, I think. And there was a, there was a position in the, in her company and the show was followed who she picked um so i have some you know sense of her and uh i i i I'm really enjoying this. So I have made progress. I'm in no rush, but I would like to finish it by the end of the year. I think I, I listened to like an hour or something this week, and I still have like seven hours to go. It is really long. It's not. The book is like 300 pages, but the audio book is like nine and a half hours. So it takes its time. And I tried to slow it up, uh, speed it up, but it just, it wasn't the pace. It wasn't the pace. Anyway, what's next? What is next? It's not working. <clears throat> Mm, the female gaze okay so this is uh by essential movies made by women by M alicia malone um i have made progress on this this one i'm trying to like watch the movie they talk about and then read the section i don't know if that's gonna work um but i did do it for cleo from five to seven which i didn't enjoy and then i didn't the commentary there was a scene in it that i thought was so inappropriate and they didn't comment on it and i was just very confused and that sort of threw me for a loop um but i read that section and watch that movie. I might go through this and pull the film lists and work through the list of films, um, but I think I'm not gonna <coughs> take this off my currently reading. So anyway, slow going. I would say the end of next year for this one. I'm not in any rush. It's a bit more of a project than just sit down and read. <laughs> Outline alphabets, <laughs> 100 complete fonts. I have made zero progress on this and I started it last year. Um, so it's just, it's not, it's, it's literally shows outline alphabets. I would like to sit down and work through them and try them and stuff like that. Um, again, end of next year, no rush. I have no idea. And then are we at, oh, Cottage of Pumpkin and Vine. This is a trilogy of romance stories by, one by Kate Angle, one by Jennifer Dawson, and one by Charlotte Lovelace. I have made progress on this. I read the second story during the summer fling. I do want to read the third story. I anticipate finishing it by the end of, let's say November. Um, it could be earlier, but um, it's only, it's a hundred pages and I, I do want to read it, um, and uh, it's fall season, so let's say the end of November. And The Diary of Aeneas Nin, um, Volume 1, by 1931 to 1934. I don't know if I'm saying her name right, so but that's how I've always said it. Um, end of next year. I am reading this super slowly. She often mentions very popular works of literature, and then I don't want to read more because she refers to them and then I go read them like I read Madame Bovary last year and then I came back to the book and now she mentioned something else I can't remember what it was so I don't know if I will ever finish this to be honest I like I would say maybe five years from now like there's not it's just it's just taking a long time. Uh, and then last up, A Darker Shade of Magic by V. Schwab, who makes two appearances on this list because I'm also reading The Savage Song. This one I started as a buddy read many years ago, and then I never checked, I haven't checked in with my buddy on it, whether or not we are going to continue to read it together or whether I should just go ahead and read it. I, this will just, this could stay on my currently reading forever. It doesn't matter to me. Um, it's more important that I read on pace with my buddy than actually finishing the book and getting it off the list. So that is, and probably will always be, the last book on my currently reading list. My goodness, that was almost a minute per book. I talked way more than I expected. I hope that you enjoyed this. Um, let me know, what's the longest book on your currently reading? Like, how long has the longest book on your currently reading been, been there, and what is it? Do you anticipate finishing it ever soon? Um, you know, do you prioritize that one or do you prioritize the first ones? Obviously, I prioritize what I started most recently. And then both readathons and my TBRs, anything that didn't get finished in the month or in the, the readathon tends to go a bit out the window and I just start anew. Oh, I'm such a magpie. It's like shiny new TBR. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed that. As I mentioned, this does not stress me out having a lot of titles on here, um, but it is fun to share, especially since some of the books I haven't mentioned in any other videos. And um, yeah, so those are the 31 books that I am currently reading. <laughs> I do hope to finish a lot of them soon, but I'm sure I'm going to start more soon as well. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for watching, and I will be back soon in another video.